You may be asking yourself, how do I start on my spiritual journey? How can I be spiritual and unlock all the gifts and wonders of the universe? It's very simple. Listen. What do I mean by listen? I don't mean to do what you're told. I mean pay attention. That's all you have to do. What do you hear? Birds, wind, video games, chatter. All of this is information and it all contains at least some semblance of truth. Even the light has darkness and even the darkness has light. It's yin and yang. When God separated the light from the darkness, he did not separate them completely. Because light and darkness are both qualities of God. God pulled the parts of the universe from himself. All things come from God and all things will return to him. This is how we can conclude logically that everything is connected. You can see this for yourself by listening. Notice how it seems all things come from the earth and will return to it? Rocks and metals were mined from the earth to make the device you're using. After a while, this device will end up in a junkyard where it will return to the earth once again. The rules of the earth apply not only to the earth, but to the entire physical reality, the astral reality, so on and so forth. Basically everything. The only thing that will never wither is God. Everything else comes and goes, emerging from God and returning right to it. See how just by paying attention to the things that come and go, we find how God has structured the rules of this universe? Just from this one paragraph, you now understand a universal truth. A truth so useful, you can apply it to everything and every situation. You may think your problems are so extreme, but they will pass. One thing I did not say is to be spiritual, you have to seek the truth, which seems like it would be obvious. Why? Because by listening, you don't even have to seek. The truth will come directly to you. The truth will not be long hidden. This is one of the things the Bible meant when it said God's word will never die. God's word cannot be contained in a single book nor a multitude. Everything is God's word. Everything we see outside of ourselves is a mirror of what's inside. What? That doesn't make any sense, Jacob. Ah, do you not realize the screen you're looking at is itself a black mirror? God is constantly talking to us, helping us out, showing us the way to go, delivering to us useful information, etc. We're just not listening to him. If you feel like you're surrounded by idiots, you're the idiot. Somebody never listens to you, you're not listening to them. The best way to get somebody to listen to you is by listening to them. Sitting there watching TV, you may notice the TV encapsulates your entire vision. This is why texting and driving kills. The phone encapsulates your entire vision. If you text and drive, kill yourself. You'll be doing the world a favor. Instead of plowing into an entire family, it will just be you. Thanks. Anyway, back to the topic. Anything we look at can encapsulate our entire vision without us even realizing it. Somebody with very low consciousness allows nearly everything they look at to encapsulate their vision and they don't even realize it. If you walk into your house and you only look at a select few things, say TV, cell phone, refrigerator, toilet paper, and you do this every day, guess what? You're not enjoying life as much as you could be. Just by paying attention to what's around you and thinking about your thoughts, aka listening, you will find much more enjoyment out of every experience. Not to mention, synchronicities will begin to happen. I promise you, if you listen and pay attention, synchronicities will happen. Why? Because synchronicities are already happening constantly all around you. You're just not paying attention if you don't notice them. The easiest synchronicities to notice involve words. You say a word and at the same time on the TV or radio or maybe 30 seconds later, you hear the same word. Of course you're not going to notice this if you forget what you said immediately after you say it. This is another reason why you have to think about your thoughts, which, of course, is just listening. There are so many benefits to just listening that I can go on and on. Now. Let's talk about angel numbers. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll explain how angels exist in another video. Have you been seeing the angel number 111 frequently? How about some other repetitive numbers? I've been seeing the number 111 my entire life. I first noticed it playing Super Smash Bros. 64 when I was a little kid, and I still see it to this day. I actually just saw it while writing this. LOL. Once I googled recurring number 111 and clicked on Joanne Sacred Scribes, quick side note, I highly, highly recommend Joanne Sacred Scribes. Joanne Wamsley is so honest. She's devoted. She's determined. Integrity. Just so good, so good. Once I googled recurring number 111 and clicked on Joanne Sacred Scribes, I started seeing other angel numbers. And what really trips me out is angel numbers mean something different every time you read them, just like the Bible, and it's always applicable. I'll see two or three different angel numbers in a row, and I look them up, and they're all speaking the same message to me. It's fucking trippy as fuck. Bullshit! Wow, she like censored it, my dog. <laughs> Bullshit, I hear you cry. Touch something. Anything. Faith, stop barking! <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. You probably already noticed. <laughs> Touch something. Anything. Are you touching something? Yes? No. You're not actually touching anything. It's scientifically proven that we cannot physically touch anything. Link in the description. And that the illusion of touch is actually repelling forces colliding with each other, like magnetism. If that doesn't prove the physical is an illusion... I don't know what does. The angels live in the astral, and I suppose by some definition, they're more real than we are. You can astral project, meditate, or vaporize in in dimethyltryptamine to go and see them. There are probably other methods too. I'm not going to get too deep into how the astral works today, but what I will say is that angels and most other light beings prefer to communicate indirectly. Angels can tune into the physical and communicate directly to you if they want, but it takes a lot of energy and time. Angels think and calculate at such ridiculous speed, being the fastest, brightest, and highest vibrational beings besides God, that slowing down to the level of the physical for even 30 seconds is such a ridiculously long amount of time in angel terms that angels usually would rather get more work done traveling beyond light speed. Before you say nothing can travel beyond light speed, NASA has observed objects traveling beyond light speed, and even has had particles in an accelerator travel beyond light speed. So, link in the description. It's easier and more efficient for angels to fly by real fast and encourage a car in the left lane to switch to the right lane right in front of you so you can see the license plate number as an angel number. In such a short time that it's immeasurable by human beings, angels can communicate an entire complex and specific message to you through angel numbers. This allows angels to communicate with thousands of people all at once, and they have many tricks for showing you angel numbers. Something that I recommend is opening an internet speed test. I recommend HTML5 speed test, link in the description, since it works on consoles and phones too. And see if you see an angel number. If a particular number sticks out to you, it's probably an angel number. Why an internet speed test? Because it's very easy for an angel to quickly speed up or slow down your internet for a split second just to show you an angel number. Angels can manipulate energy, and guess what? Your router literally just routes energy. This is such an easy way for angels to communicate because they don't have this set up much beforehand like they would with, for example, playing Super Smash Brothers, where they have to make sure a certain character gets certain hits a certain number of times to show a number on the percentage meter. Yes, angels can manipulate energies on such a fine level that they can manipulate the score in a video game without breaking any of the code. Anyway, just listen and you'll hear angel numbers. Yet another advantage of listening is eventually you'll begin to listen to your heart. You have an intuitive guidance system which your heart is a part of and basically, instead of doing stuff to benefit yourself, just do what feels right in your heart. Listening to Muji's videos helps me to strengthen my connection with my heart and helps me to make the right choices in every moment, so I highly recommend Muji. You ever get that empty feeling, like something is missing? Well, there is something missing. It's you. 
Muji will help you to find yourself, and boy, will you feel glad once you find you. Well, that's just about all I have to say, but I will leave you with the ultimate truth. As you continue to listen and find more and more truth, eventually you will realize that the only truth is God. Peace! Guys, please click my links. They're monetized. Please, please, please!